Hi guys, it's me, Anna. I wanted to do a screencast on how to use iWeb. Uh, I figured we already know how to use Weebly, so I wanted to show how to use another website building tool, just in case. So whenever you open up iWeb, it comes to this template page. You can see that there's many different options on, te on templates that they give to you, but for right now, we're gonna use this um, white simple template. Let's start with using this welcome one. So you select it and choose. So to change anything on the template, all you have to do is select it. You can go ahead and delete that text and type in your own. Or you can drag a photo from the desktop into on top of the other photo to add your own photo to the website. Same thing with here. And then another same thing with here. You can also kind of move things around if you want. They have a little axis line in the middle to keep everything neat and clean. Looks good. All right, so that's how you kind of change things around. To add another page to your website, you go down here to this toolbar, press Add Page, and let's go ahead and use a blank one to start from scratch. Okay, so down here at this toolbar again. We have some options right here. You can build your own theme and you can just select whichever one you want. There's kind of like a comic book view one or kind of like a dreamscape. It's so cute. Anyway, so right here you can add your own text. For now we're just going to do second page. You can go over here to the left and change your menu item as well so that it kind of corresponds with what's going on with your website and down here you can add a text box kind of move that around if you want to again nice and you can add an image and a shape you can still add an image drag and drop and you can make that as big or as small as you want to another thing that I like about this tool is that you can use these widgets over here. So let's say that you were building a website about an event that was coming up. There's this little countdown thing that you can drag and drop and you can add a ending date to when the event or whatever is going to be and it'll start a countdown for you on your website. This also might be good for wedding websites as well. Another thing you could do is drop the YouTube widget and type or paste a URL to a YouTube video in there and it'll play. And then whenever you're finally done with building your website, you can add as many pages as you want. All you go here is you publish the website and you're good to go. All right, well, I hope this helped you out a little bit and I hope you can use this tool. I know I'm gonna use it in the future.